Hi and welcome to episode number 570 with whatsforchow.com. Easter is here and today we're going to slow roast a couple of pickled pork knuckles with an amazing sweet and sour glaze. These pork knuckles are already pickled or cured and you can find them vac packed at just about any decent butchery. These knuckles are around 1 kilogram each. To start, slice through the skin down the side of the knuckles that is closest to the bone. Lift the skin and use your knife to peel it away from the meat, leaving as much fat behind as possible. Save the skins to make crackling. Score the fat on all sides of the pork. This allows the basting glaze to get through to the meat, infusing it with flavour. Chop 4 carrots and 4 onions and spread them over the bottom of a large roasting pan. Place the pork knuckles on top of the vegetables with the fattier side facing upwards. Pour 400 millilitres of chicken stock into the pan around the pork. Combine 120 milliliters of caster sugar, 90 milliliters of white wine vinegar, and 60 milliliters of light soy sauce, and whisk these thoroughly until all of the sugar has dissolved. Brush the basting liberally over the pork, making sure to brush the ends as well. Cover the pan with foil and bake the pork in a preheated oven at 120 Celsius or 250 Fahrenheit for 2 hours undisturbed. After this time, unwrap the pan and baste the pork liberally again. Return the pan to the oven and reset the temperature to 250 Celsius or 480 Fahrenheit. Roast the pork for a further 45 minutes, basting liberally every 15 minutes. Remove the pork from the oven and let it rest for 5 minutes before cutting. Pour the saucy vegetables into a large pan and heat this over medium-high heat. Dissolve 30 ml or 2 tablespoons of cornstarch in a little water. As the pan comes to a boil, pour the slurry into the gravy. Stir this and allow this to simmer for 60 seconds until it has thickened. To serve the pork, cut through the meat along the length of the joint, down the side that is closest to the bone. Notice how the meat has almost totally separated from the bone. Peel the one side away and cut it free followed by the other side. Serve your masterpiece drenched with the thick gravy and the accompaniments of your choice and enjoy. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel. Please give us a thumbs up and please share this with your family and friends. And we'll see you again tomorrow.